What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you four different ways to finalize your sketches. So let's say you use your sketchbook as your little playhouse of ideas, but you finally find that idea that you're most satisfied with, but you want that to kind of stand out in your sketchbook spread so that way your future self knows that hey, I like this idea, let's go with this. So that's where finalizing your sketches really comes into play. And I'm going to show you four different ways that I do it when I'm sketching. So before we get into the video, I'm going to show you guys what my pencils look like. So you're not an artist if your pencils don't look like this. I'm just stating the facts. But these are the pencils that I'm going to be using in today's video. I'm going to be using my standard HB pencil. These pencils are not hard to find. In fact, these are the same pencils that you may use for school or whatever. And the lead in these pencils are very easy to erase. So that's why I say it's a standard. I'm also going to be using an 8B pencil. The only difference between this and an HB is that this pencil lays down a darker lead. So when you lay down the graphite that's in this pencil, it's going to be very hard to erase because it's super dark. There are other pencils along this line like 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B. You can use any of those, but for this video I have my 8B pencil and I may end up gravitating towards my 2B pencil. The bottom line is you're going to want to use a pencil that's darker than an HB pencil. I'm also going to be using one of my Prismacolor Cali Race pencils. These come in a variety of different colors. Um, a lot of them have worn down over the years, but I'm using my blue one for this video. I'm also going to be using another pencil by Prismacolor, and it's my white colored pencil. The Prismacolor colored pencils themselves act like paint, and when I utilize my white colored pencil on top of tone paper such as this, it really helps finalize the piece, and it's another way to add highlights. So that's why I like to use my white colored pencil. And in terms of inks, I'm going to be using my Tombow Fudeno Souk brush pen. And then in terms of erasers, I'm going to be using my kneaded eraser. It looks kind of like the gum on the bottom of someone's shoe, I guess. But the good thing about this kneaded eraser is that it doesn't leave shavings behind. So that way if you're sketching and you make a mistake and you need to erase something, this kneaded eraser doesn't leave behind a mess. So that's why it's great to have these handy. But in terms of paper, I'm going to be using mid-tone paper. This is toned gray. And the reason I'm using this tone paper is to help apply my white colored pencil. Because it's going to be hard to apply a white colored pencil on top of white paper. Although white paper is also acceptable for sketching. But like I said, I like to use the white colored pencil as a way to add highlights and sort of polish my drawing. You can also use craft paper. Um, there's also another paper like this, but brown. You can also use that. And um... Yeah, but now that we're done talking about the supplies, let me show you what I am going to be finalizing in this video. So as you can see, I got four Mario mushrooms in commemoration of the Mario movie that just came out last week. So I haven't really spotlighted anything Mario or Nintendo related on my channel, although I have drawn Mario mushrooms before and I've drawn the Mario and Luigi characters before, just never on YouTube. But today I'm going to give them a spotlight because the new movie just came out. But I got nothing else left to say, so let's zoom in on one and get started. Okay, so for this first mushroom, I'm just going to be utilizing my HB pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press hard with this HB pencil, really apply pressure to the contours of the mushroom and sort of get those lines nice and dark. Even though that's something we could use the 8B or 2B pencils for, um, I'm just doing this one just in case whoever's watching this video doesn't have any 2B or HB pencils. Because as a way to find, because in terms of finalizing your sketches, you may just have one pencil in your pocket. That kind of thing. Just trying to show uh, my viewers that the possibilities are endless. You can have just one pencil or one eraser, but you're not very limited. There's lots that you can do. That kind of thing. Okay, and can't forget the eyes. So let me just apply the pressure again. Okay, so now that we outline the mushroom, what I am going to do now is take one of my rulers. I'm using a six inch for this video, but what I like to do when I'm finalizing my sketches is to put like a little square or triangle behind my subject as another way to polish and finish my sketch. So what I'm going to do is line up my ruler with just any part of the subject and then just draw a line. And I'm really just creating a square, triangle, or any kind of quadrilateral behind my subject. Now when I'm doing this, I don't have to worry too much about getting a perfect square because 
it's gonna be hard to do that with the subject in the way. So that's why I like to gravitate towards just a quadrilateral or any four-sided shape. But if I can't work with a four-sided shape for this kind of box back here, then I'll just use a triangle. And the reason I choose a square in the first place is because when you think about it, it kind of looks like a comic panel. And the subject just kind of pops out of the panel when you think about it. But now that that's drawn, I'm gonna go over this square without using a ruler because I don't wanna make it too obvious that I used a ruler for that. Even though this is kind of like a, a background type thing for just the sketch. Just scribble. And what I'm gonna do now is color in that back panel. And I know I'm gonna end up calling this a square, but we can call that a background, a back panel. I've called it many names already, but um, we can just call that a background or a square background, however you're gonna say it. You know what I mean. Okay, and now that we finished all that, it may appear that the contours of your subject may kind of clash with that back panel. So what you can do again is go over those contours, but apply a lot more pressure just to help kind of darken those lines and help separate the subject away from that back panel. But you don't have to pressure yourself to go very, very dark because, because one, that's the purpose of the 2B and the 8B pencils being here. And two, there's limits on how dark you can get the lead to go from an HB pencil. And there we go, that's one way to finalize your sketch with just one pencil. So let me transition to the next mushroom so I can show you guys another way to finalize your sketches. Okay, so to finalize this sketch, we're gonna be using our ink pen. Again, this is a Tombow Fudeno Souk brush pen. And then we're gonna use our same HB pencil. So let's start by taking our sketch and inking it with our Tombow pen. And this is a brush pen. It's got a very small tip, but you can get a lot of different line widths with this brush pen. And I like to use this on a lot of my final works. And sometimes I have a different brand of brush pen that looks equivalent to this that I use specifically for sketching because the paper that I use for my sketchbook is different from the papers that I use for making my final illustrations. Okay, so now that we got our piece nice and inked, we're gonna take our HB pencil again and our ruler again, and just make that same quadrilateral standing right behind the subject. And this time, since we have ink lines now, we can literally go inside the subject like this. And then we can just erase those lines later. Okay, so let me actually get rid of this line now. And then get rid of this one up here. And then this one. And then we can go over with our pencil again. Because now that we don't have our ruler, we got the straight lines. And then do what we did last time and color in that shape. Alright, so another thing you can do is you can add like a little um, drop shadow underneath the mushroom. This kind of shading is called hatching. Just using the same parallel lines to make a shadow. That's what this is. But I'm kind of overlapping them and making them thicker at the same time, which kind of make them hard to see now. But again, a drop shadow would be something to consider. But yeah, that's another way to finalize your sketch. So now let's transition to the next mushroom so I can show you guys another way to finalize your sketches. Okay, so for this mushroom, we're gonna be using our ink pen again. 
we're going to be using our 2B pencil, our HB pencil again, and our white colored pencil. So now, the first thing we're going to do is ink this mushroom once again. So now what I'm going to do is take my 2B pencil and add like a darker value to the mushroom color. Because earlier, we didn't color this. But now, since we're down here, we can add color. Well, sort of. We can add graphite as a way to show that there is some color there. Or at least a color with a dark value. And then later on, you can just erase the parts that you don't want there to be color. And then there, you can go over it again if you want it to be darker because this is a 2B. So at first I applied a light pressure to it just because I didn't want it to be too dark. But as an artist, the choice is yours. You can choose to have it very dark or just um, use a light pressure like I did before and keep it light-ish, I guess. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other two and use our HB pencil and add some sort of quadrilateral or triangle behind this mushroom. For the last two mushrooms, we added a quadrilateral. Let's see what this mushroom looks like when we add a triangle. So when you think about it, it kind of makes a triangle going from here. See how it kind of makes a triangle? When I'm making the triangle behind this subject, I'm going to make it kind of upside down. So let's start up here. And then make a triangle coming down. <laughs> and again, it doesn't have to be super duper perfect. Just It just has to be there. And then, as usual, we're going to color it in. But first we can fix those edges. Okay. And then to help the mushroom kind of stand out, we can go in with, instead, let's use our 8B pencil and apply light pressure to that to see if we can get any darker. Because you see how dark the lead is from this HB pencil? We don't want this to clash with the background graphite. So that's why I'm going to make that a little bit darker to help separate that out. You know, give it some kind of contrast. But then again, it's a sketch, so you don't have to put your best foot forward for your sketch. Unless your final artwork is in a halftone sketchbook like this. But for me, that's not always the case. But um, now we can erase those parts. And yeah. Now we got one thing left to do. We can take our white colored pencil and just add highlights wherever. Okay, so hopefully you can see this, but I'm applying this sharpened white colored pencil along the left hand side of the mushroom to indicate that the light source is over here. I'm also applying it on the white parts too. Well, hopefully I can go on top of this graphite with this white colored pencil. But instead, let me use an alternative. So I grabbed my white Posca pen, and it's a fine liner because it has a small tip. But I'm going to use that and substitute for the white colored pencil. Because we're working on top of several layers of graphite. And it's not going to be easy for a white colored pencil to easily show up on the page. So that's why I'm going to use a paint pen because it really helps with an overlay. If that makes sense. And I'm also going to apply it here. And then also on the eyes, I can do that too. And yeah, but since we did add the white paint pen to the drawing, I can now take my white colored pencil and just kind of scribble in some white because you know the spots on each mushroom in the Mario games they're usually white over here in these areas 
So I can just kind of scribble in some white. And this is also another option. You don't have to go this far, but yeah, this is, that's a little something. But now since we applied the white colored pencils and all the graphite and inks, now it looks like a Mario mushroom just in black and white. So it kind of disproves what I said earlier about your final drawing being in a halftone sketchbook just like this. So anyway, that's another way to finalize your sketches. So now let me transition to the next mushroom so I can show you guys one more way to finalize your sketches. Okay, so the last way we're going to use to finalize your sketches will utilize my 8B pencil again. And this time we're going to be using one of my Prismacolor Kali Race pencils. Again, this comes in many colors, but for this video I'm going to be using a blue. And whatever color you want to use, that's up to you. You can use standard colored pencils to do this. But if you have a tendency to erase different colors on your sketch, then I would use either a Prismacolor Kali Race pencil or some of the Crayola erasable color pencils. So setting this aside for now, let's go in with our 8B pencil and outline our mushroom character. And I did also forget to mention that 8B is still lead. So when you're drawing with your 8B pencil and you have a tendency to sweat, you may end up smudging these 8B lines. So just a little precaution because I know I didn't do it and I do have sweat on my hand, but gladly I didn't smudge any lines. So I'm trying to do my best to keep this part of my hand off the page when I'm drawing. Or at least off of the 8B lines. Graphite lines actually. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Call Erase pencil and do the same thing that we've been doing for the background by using a quadrilateral or a triangle behind the mushroom and um, using a ruler to help us do that too. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect square, it doesn't have to be a perfect triangle, just um, any kind of shape behind the subject. Now I'm just going to go over these lines again with my collar race pencil as a way to add some color to the piece because it's never harmed to add color to your sketch. Because sometimes in your sketchbooks, and I know I've done this as well, that you may want to plan out some colors in your sketchbook. Like colors for your final illustration. You can develop a color scheme in your spread. Just um, throw in a color palette, maybe one, two, three colors here. And try to use them throughout your piece. And doing all that in your sketchbook. I know I've done that before, and I think I've showed you just one sketchbook spread where I did just that. But, you know, there's no harm in... Uh, adding colors to your sketches because who who wants all black and white like we're not old people and yeah we got our blue background and everything going so while we're still down here at this mushroom we can go in with our HB pencil again and just lightly shade in that portion that we colored earlier And the reason I say we go light is because I don't want the graphite from this pencil to kind of clash with the outlines because that's exactly why we use the 8B pencil. So that way if I go in with a lighter pencil or a pencil with lighter lead, I can just do some minor shading and just leave it at that. And see, you can go a little bit darker, just not as dark as the contour lines because again, we don't want those to clash. And I think that's good enough. And then like we did up here, we can add a cast shadow, but really you could have done that with all three of these mushrooms, but I just kept forgetting or I just chose not to. But yeah, but now let me zoom out so I can show you guys what all these mushrooms look like after they are finalized. All right, and here's what the four mushrooms look like now that they've been finalized. So just a little recap of what supplies we use for each mushroom. For this one, we use just this HB pencil and apply different amounts of pressure for both the contour lines and when we colored the background. And for this one, we use our brush pen and then this same HB pencil for the background and this drop shadow down here. 
So for this mushroom, we used our ink pen again. Then we used our HB pencil to color in the background. Then we used our 8B pencil to color in some places in the subject that deserve dark values. We used our white color pencil to color in the parts that deserve light values. And then surprise, surprise, I used my white Posca pen fine liner to help define the highlights in the piece. Because a white color pencil is not good for working on top of several layers of graphite. So that's why I had to throw this in there. And then for this mushroom, we used our 8B pencil for the contours. We used our HB pencil to define some dark areas. And then for the background, we gravitated towards using some color by using our Prismacolor Call Erase pencil. But in terms of finalizing the sketches like these, you can use different combinations. Like say, this background up here could be color. This mushroom could have some inks. This one can have a triangle background and so many more. But I just decided to go with just the four different methods just to help keep it simple. But yeah, that's about it. Those are four different ways to finalize your sketches. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like